I welcome you to another encouraging word of the week. And this week, I want to encourage you that you can go to the Lord Jesus Christ anytime in your life, and He's there willing to answer your prayer. He is a prayer-answering God. Now, the Scripture says this in Ephesians. When Paul is writing to the Ephesians, uh, he, he comes to a couple places where he's talking to the church, the body of believers, and he's encouraging them to go to the Lord, and then he tells them who this Jesus is and what Jesus can do. He ends out his little message in this way in the third chapter of Ephesians. I'm going to pick it up in the 20th verse. As he closes out this little talk with them, he says this, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask and think according to the power that worketh within us. Unto Him be the glory. He's talking about Jesus because He says that this is the, the church that Jesus the Christ has founded. And throughout the world this will be known. Now let me just go back and sort of rephrase all this. What God is saying to you today, this week, is that you're talking to a God through, your, through His Son, Jesus the Christ, that can do more than you can ask. Think about that. More than you can ask. And He can do more than you can ever imagine or think. He will give you abundantly more. Now, I, that excites me. Because when I go to the Lord with a, with a need, a problem, I, I'm thinking how He can answer that problem, how He can supply that need. But this scripture is saying here that we're talking about a Jesus that can do more abundantly than anything we could ask or think. Right now, whatever your prayer request is, I encourage you all this week to hold on to the fact that Jesus can do more than you ever could ask and more than you ever could imagine or think. Yes, be encouraged with this word.